Hey everyone, how's it going? Today, we're gonna actually be opening up, I guess you wanna call them sports cars, performance cars. Um, random assortment here from anything, what is it here? Uh, late 90s, I think we got late 80s, early 2000s, stuff like that. Um, it's kind of just a random assortment. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last video and kind of just run through them really quick and then I'll show you them up close. I know this Sunday is a toy show, so hopefully I can find a little turntable. Um, I haven't really seen them much at shows, but I also haven't really looked that hard. Um, so nonetheless, we will just get right into it. Um, want them not to classify these as sports cars, performance cars. I know there's more of a race car in here, but it's kind of... I'm trying to categorize them as best I can for videos. But, we're just going to get right into it. Audi TT 1999. Ooh. I hope I didn't scratch that. 1999 on that one. So there's that one we cracked open. BMW Z8. A very nice red. Very nice. 2004 on that one. I like this casting. I don't have a ton of them, but it is a very nice casting. Plastic base on this one. That'll be nice. Can't wait to see that one up close. This one's kind of interesting. A little bit older. It is the Sauber Racer, Group C Racer. Um, those are cool. I want that BMW. What does it say? 1990 on that one. Ready to be cracked open. I might already have this one loose, but not always a bad thing having extras. We have, ooh, look at this one. Ferrari Testarossa in black. 1999 on that one. Who doesn't love a good Ferrari? A bit of packaging rub on that. But looks fantastic. Jaguar E-Type. 2006 in a very nice green. Ah, very faded car, but a Ford GT. This one's fairly rare. 2006 as well. It appears the car has not suffered any damage, which is fantastic. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Jaguar E-Type again, this time in red. I might actually already have this one loose, but I honestly don't care if I do open them again. Because I'll end up giving them friends and stuff like that, so I don't really care. Um, Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG. I like this casting quite a lot. Looks really good, got great proportions. 2005 on that copyright date there. And a very nice metallic silver, very mercedes uh, like typical color Porsche Boxster first gen 1999 on that one ah, honestly my favorite car in real life I don't love the first gen Boxster but um, that is definitely a really well executed model one two three six nine we have another Audi TT this time in convertible 2000 on that one. Uh, I believe this is, I guess they call it the flower wheel. So I think this is a wheel variation on that one. Hard to keep track of all this stuff, right? Never getting Countach in red. 1994 on that one. Nice metallic red. Uh, we got another Ford GT in red this time. 2005. That particular era, 2005, 6, 7, anywhere around then. Seems to be quite difficult to find. Just grabbing the cars here. Um, 
think I just opened this one, didn't I? I think this is double. Yeah. Let's see if it's just real quick. I don't think it's a variation. No. So that is a double, which is all right. I won't even open that one out of you. So let's open the rest of these here, and that should be one, two. Ah, screw it. We'll just open all of them. Because I don't have very many left in this particular box. Whatever, I'll just open all of them. Lotus Exige. Absolutely love Lotus for Matchbox. They haven't made a ton, but this one will be great to add. 2007 is the date on that. That's such a nice model. Excited to see that one. And sticking with Lotus, we have another green one. This time it's the Abora. 2010. Very similar, but a little bit different. Um, let's look at here. Dodge Viper GTSR, it says. Yeah, very nice black. Those flower wheels. 2006. Slowly, slowly, slowly getting that era completed. Oh, another Lotus. This time in matte black. Let me guess. 2014? 16. Close. That looks great. Um, we got some little difference. Caterham RS or R500 Superlight. That's pretty cool. I think they're coming out with something similar. It's not a Caterham. It's a um, similar vein to this. Uh, I don't remember what it's called now. It's coming out soon. BMW Z3 in a red. 1996 on that one. I think this is a variation. I think so. I, I believe there's one without hood tampos and just side. Could be wrong. Tend to forget. Um, another 4 GT. This time in orange. Why's the card so floppy? 2007. Okay. Um, another Audi TT. Convertible. Blue windshield. 2004. A little bit of an odd era for Matchbox. But still pretty cool. TBR Tuscan S in orange. What a weird car in real life. 2007. Kind of ugly, but kind of awesome. Certainly different. And the last one we'll take a look up. Look at up close is this one. A little bit of an oldie Dodge Daytona. 19... Da, 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 86 it says on the back. Look at that. 959. Testarossa is really nice. They're all pretty nice. That race advanced suite. Crack it here. Ooh. See? Came right off. Paint is not perfect, but we'll take a look at it. Up close. Okay. Now let's cut to the second part of the video. And uh, hopefully we didn't get any super amount of damage or anything. So, anyways, let's go. All right, we're back. I didn't even move any of the cars. So, yeah, I'm trying to make these videos a little more enjoyable for you guys. Um, but it's actually, it's, it's kind of a challenge making the video because I'm trying to enjoy these cars as I open them. But I'm also trying to focus on the camera and everything and what to say and all that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy these videos. Um, I'm doing the best I can. Hopefully I get a turntable soon because I really think that'll help. Um, move the camera a little bit. This is going to be fun because I still got so many cars to put away. I got to catalog them all and blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, so we'll put this here. Look at that. Look at how many cars. Who doesn't love Matchbox? I mean, come on. That's a fantastic sight. Um, so... Ford GT in orange. Um, I know you guys might cringe a little bit. Ugh. Cars hitting each other. 
actually drop it just a little bit. Working on it. There we go. Four GT in orange. I really like this casting. Uh, yeah, I guess it was similar to golf we seen last. But we haven't seen it in a little while, I don't think. I'd like to see more of it come back. Even the new Ford GT, um, I don't know if it would be very popular, but um, this is my favorite deco, but I'm always happy to have one because it's still much more realistic. Uh, if we're going to look at the other Ford GTs, I'm sure I'm going to miss one and skip it. This one, um, not worth a million bucks or nothing, but this is the classic, I guess, Heritage Edition I think they sold in real life. Similar to at least because it's not licensed golf or nothing, but... Um, this one's worth a couple of bucks. I mean, from the last time I checked, this seems a little bit rare. I know I had one. Unfortunately, I got it in a loose auction. It was a little bit damaged. So, we found another one. And I, I'm very patient. you got to be patient with these die-cast cars. I'm very patient, and I managed to get them for a pretty good deal. Classic red. Very simple, but... Very nice. I want to see that inside. You can't really see on camera, but there is a bit of detail in there. And what date is this? 2004. So yeah. There's quite a few variations for sure. I think there's two variations of the blue one, not that I think about it. I'm always trying to think of variations as I do this, but I'm telling you, if you're a diehard Matchbox collector, you understand. It's pretty much impossible to keep track. Um, I think that was it, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll look at the Lotuses just because they're right in front of me. But look at this Evora. Matte black. I wish it kind of had a black interior, but you could at least get to see that. Uh, or not. <laughs> or the car's gone. But you get to see that uh, engine detail there because it's in a light gray. And it's pretty good. Um, I'm curious to know if they've ever changed that amount of detail and they uh, dulled it down. 2007 on the date on there. A um, little bit of detail on the back, but not much. You don't really need it. The windshield's a little bit yellowed. The glass, I hope it's not because of its age and it's just what happened when making it. Um, but that's fantastic. Uh, this is probably one of the best Evora versions I've seen other than this green one here. Look at the paint on that. Oh man, that's nice. I'm not quite in love with the wheels in this one. I think I prefer the wheels on the black one. Um, nothing on the back this time, right? No. It has a weird texture to it. Um, yeah, that's still fantastic. They do such a good job, job with Lotus, especially this Exige, which is much lighter. In terms of color but still fantastic uh what's the copy date on this one 2006 mb706 156 scale that's on the back look at that headlight detail this is like ooh, i dropped it again see i know it's not 164 because we just said it's 156 but it looks it looks like it is close to 164 i mean the scale Looks good. The proportions are good. Um, man, I'd love to have all of these. Make sure the black wheels looks good. Um, what do you look at this weird one? TVR. Beautiful orange paint, though. I do kind of wish they made paint like this now. I'm sure there's extra cost to it. What an odd car in real life. 2003 on the date on that one. I don't think they made a ton of these, but I know there's a few. Um, I don't remember if there's any other TVRs. But there is that one. It's casting. Uh, loss of suspension, but because this is the old casting. Uh, 1996 on that one. Used, used to have a metal base, now it's plastic. I think that was 2000 where that switched over. And you can see that interior because of the light gray eh 
leaves a little room to be desired, but uh, unless you're looking at it up close, it looks pretty good. The, I guess, the vents, if you will, are part of the window there on, ooh, on top. I really like this casting. Uh, I don't know if there's a variation on the wheels. A little bit of detail in the back, nothing crazy, but definitely enjoy. Vipers. Uh, Boxster. Who doesn't love a Porsche? 996 Boxster, nothing on the front. I'm actually surprised there's not a Porsche logo because Porsche would probably want that. It does have suspension. I assume this is probably a first edition. 1998. I mean, very basic details in the back, but... And they did a really good job with the interior, honestly. You, it's weird how some get a great interior, some don't. I mean, I'm glad this does because it's a convertible, but... Nice. Happy with that one. Uh, Jaguar he's had they made a million of these. It's a pretty nice metallic red chrome interior, part of the... Bumpers, you can see there. And those tri spoke wheels. This is what, 2005 or so? Yeah, 2005 they made this one. If we're looking at it in red, oh, green, kind of an odd green color. Just a straight gloss. Again, with this tri spoke. I don't know if they've ever came with another wheel choice. Um, but uh, they made a lot of these and every one of them pretty much they all look fantastic they're all very basic from what I can remember um, and those look great again Matchbox doing normal car proportions for you know mainline prices that's why we love it Ferrari Testarossa suspension Bit of a strange casting, not the best, but uh, it's Ferrari. 1986. Wow, I didn't know it was that old. I guess I'm not surprised because it's pretty much when this car came out new. See, it's kind of frumpy in the back and like tall in the front, but who cares? It's a Ferrari. <laughs> we don't get in that much anymore, so, well, obviously not for Mattel, but there's not many people that make Ferrari. We're always happy to have what we can get. Um, put you back there. Uh, Lamborghini. Going right from that. This era, late 90s of Matchbox with these strange wheels. I think the suspension's broken in the front. Or maybe it didn't have it. Ooh. That might, might, that might have never came with it, but I thought it did. But it has the rear, weird. Uh, interior is, it's there, uh, beautiful red paint, uh, Lamborghini on the side, I get the proportions are a little wonky, but it's a Lamborghini Countach, this is classic Matchbox casting, and they're pretty popular, eventually I'll get them all, um, not truly to scale, obviously, but, uh, like, uh, the proportions are not what they would be today if they made this, but, uh, I'd like to see them bring it back, you know, uh, either make, either revamp the old casting somehow. I know it's not the most realistic proportions, but wouldn't that be nice? Sub Eraser. Um, this is actually a neat one that I, would be kind of fun to bring back. I think people will actually might like it in the unlicensed. Um, pretty neat wheels. Um, ba -ba -ba, plastic spoiler, which I think is a separate piece. Um... Decent interior, I guess. Um, fairly light. Curb Seat Racer, 1984. Made a few of these. Um, maybe they'll bring it back one day. Who knows? Probably not. Uh, but I like it. Audi TT convertible. Audi TT coupe. Very similar. I think this one actually comes with those wheels as well. Could be wrong. I think there's also... Uh, 2000 version uh, uh, logo model. Um, interior looks great. Ooh. Matchbox in the back. TT. Then you get those flower wheels. Suspension. Um, pretty simple details. Uh, the first gen TT. 
otherwise not necessarily the prettiest car, but um, still pretty cool. I enjoy Audis. Big fan of Audis and always happy to have it. I definitely prefer the coupe. Uh, it's got a little more weight. Um, suspension. I like these wheels on it. looks good. Uh, nothing on the front or back, which is okay because, you know, I mean, it's a super bubbly jelly bean type car and it could use the front even just like that because um, it blends so well it looks like nothing. Um, what was the date on that? 1999. Yeah, it looks good. I'm trying to be uh, not, not spend too much time on them, but I'm trying to really get a good look at them. I love the paint on this. They've pretty much every Z8 I think they've ever done. It's had a really nice paint with it, and, and they're heavy. Plastic base, but um, it's really nice. I don't know. I don't think I have it accessible. Do I? Not really. I do have a BMW. To uh, the Z8 um, dealer model and silver, I have two red ones from a five pack uh, with a variation on the windshield. I might have already shown that in the video at some point. Um, but yeah, big fan of German cars. Z8 is always a great one. Maybe the, that's another one they can bring back because I know that's a big collector's car now. I'd love to see more Mercedes too for Matchbox. I know they make a few now that are pretty good you know they got the CLA shooting brake and stuff like that but I definitely would like to see more Mercedes especially more Audis nothing on the front nothing on the back very simple it's kind of weird that they didn't do the taillights because they're already there and doing tampos but sure uh, chrome base to get the exhaust I am not going to be able to read that because it's blinding me um, but yeah again proportions are fantastic Looks great. Fantastic. And I'm not a big convertible guy, but it looks good. Sticking with the convertibles, we'll go back to the Audi TT. Couldn't do without the blue windshield, but um, strange color interior. Flower wheels, no suspension this time. Those are different wheels. Oh, same. Same as the other convertible. Um, yeah. Not too much to say about that, in case you didn't know it was an Audi. Uh, BMW Z3, uh, they've made some funky looking decos on this. This being one of them is not the greatest, but a pretty decent looking interior. Again, happy to see that on a convertible. Um, these things are still dirt cheap, I think, in real life. Uh, this generation, never loved the proportions of the hood. Um, but I mean, rear wheel drive, sports car, for cheap, sure, sure, could do without the deck, I wish it was just plain red. Uh, two more to go, and that'll be it. This, this little guy here, not much weight to it, but surprisingly heavy for what it is. 2010 on that. I know... I don't think they made a lot of these, and these are pretty tricky to get, at least for me around here. I've I've been searching high and low trying to get all these. I do really appreciate that they put that there, because that's a nice little touch. Color wheels I don't like, but on this particular version, it just it fits the whole aesthetic of it. They went all out on it. Looks great. And the last we're gonna look at is this oldie here. It does have suspension, but I want to be, be careful. Turbo Z. So look at that. Let me see if I can get this hood open. Without breaking it. I think it pops up. Oh, weird. It looked like it went the other way because I was like, how is that possible? So you get no detail in terms of paint. I'm not going to really be able to show that. But... Yeah, it looked like it popped up this way. I, I know it didn't, but I was like, well, how does that work? Um, my favorite eight dot wheels, good amount of weights because it's metal on metal. 1984 on that. Uh, nothing on the back, but that's okay. Kick at the interior, not much. Yeah, not much, but that's so cool. Otherwise, probably terrible car in real life. Maybe it's okay. I've never really driven one because. 
they don't really exist anymore but um yeah fantastic fantastic all right zoom on out that is a lot of cars we looked at and i know it was a bit of a longer video but i'm trying to get better at it make it more watchable um obviously we still got tons more content to come plenty of fire trucks service vehicles all sorts of cool stuff um yeah uh that is it for now and stay tuned for more